Dave Harris from Hope Church Orpington here doing today's devotional. So today we're going to look at Genesis 19 verses 1 to 29. In my Bible it says Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed. I have to say I've really struggled preparing a devotional from these verses and I've read through the verses lots of times read commentaries. They, they are really difficult verses and for me I still have quite a few questions um, over the context and the culture and some of the things that happen in these verses. But because this is a devotional I want to encourage us in our relationship with God and there are three things I think just to pick out of these verses for us to think about today. So the first thing, and it, and it is a sobering thing, is that judgment from God is coming to all of us. God's judgment fell on Sodom and Gomorrah, and that judgment was a result of the people who lived there's actions. It's really sobering that you can have a group of people, maybe a whole society, who behave in a particular way that brings judgment on them. It's really sobering. And I think you know, for us, in our devotion, we need to be thinking, you know, what are the things that are on God's heart? What does he really care about? When you read through the Bible, the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah aren't mentioned very much apart from in Ezekiel. And there, those sins are to do with their treatment of the poor. It's really sobering that God's judgment is coming. And for us as Christians, we will be judged by the Lord one day for how we've lived our lives. It says in 1 Corinthians, it talks about uh, the day on the day things being brought to light and uh, everything being tested with fire. We don't want to go through life just terrified, but I have to say I am frightened of the judgment of God. And uh, the book of Proverbs says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and I think a healthy fear of God's judgment is good and it would keep people out of perhaps making some of the mistakes that they make. The second point and really what I want to focus on is that God doesn't sweep away the righteous with the unrighteous and that's why today's devotional is entitled God Rescues Lot rather than Sodom and Gomorrah Destroyed. In the chapter before, we see this dialogue between God and Abraham, where Abraham asks God very humbly, you know, if there were 50 people in a place, would you still sweep it away, uh, the righteous with the unrighteous? And God says, no, no, I wouldn't. What about 40? What about 30? And Abraham then, <laughs> one last time, says, yeah, but what about 10? And God says, no, for the sake of 10 righteous people, I won't sweep them away with the unrighteous. And I think for me, that's the heart of these verses today that we're looking at. It's not so much about the judgment of God as it is about God rescuing the righteous from in the middle of that. And that's something that can be really encouraging for us. When we read these verses, the behaviour of Lot is it raises questions for me when he offers his two daughters. I've got two daughters. I wouldn't offer them to be raped by a crowd. I think, to be honest, I'd probably, it's not really like me, but I think I'd probably try and take on the crowd myself and fight them rather than giving my daughters to be raped. Uh, you know, it's, it's just like, what is going on there? But Lot had a relationship with God. And for all these things that we perhaps don't understand, actually his relationship with God was the key thing. And, you know, we <laughs> I just want to turn it around really to the grace of God. We we talk about Jesus a lot, but it is that relationship with God through Jesus that saves us. We ourselves may be a, a little bit dysfunctional. There may be things in our lives where we make wrong decisions. Sometimes Lot in his decision to live in Sodom perhaps wasn't the most sensible of choices. But actually, at the end of the day, it was his relationship with God that made him righteous. He's, he's made righteous by faith and that's what saved him. So this whole story, and there are confusing sections of it, 
that it's all about God saving Lot. Finally, I just wanted to finish. In, in this story, there are righteous people. The, the future uh, son-in-laws of Lot were actually offered salvation. And they thought Lot was joking about the judgment of God. And they, uh, they laughed at him. They chose to ignore this offer of salvation. They could have been saved, but they thought it was a big joke. And uh, Lot's wife was told not to look back. But she looked back at the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and was turned to a pillar of salt. She had a choice. She was made righteous. She had that, that offer of salvation. But she chose instead to look back and she was turned into a pillar of salt. And for us, you know, when God tells us to do something, let's be careful that we do it rather than thinking of it as a joke or sort of optional. We just need to be really careful that we obey the Lord. I'm sorry it's a little bit heavy. <laughs> These are quite challenging verses, but I'd really encourage you to read through them again. And where you've got questions, mull those things over and ask the Lord, you know, God, why, why did this happen? Why did that happen? And see what God says. Bless you.